Good morning, I am Deborah Charlene, and we are excited to have you here this week for Big News. These are your morning announcements. Tax forms are ready, but you need to sign up in the foyer first to get your name on the list provided. Daughters of Faith shoe giveaway is drawing near, so be sure to donate your shoes. We are asking for shoes that are clean and have low wear and tear. Uh, we're also looking for shoes for the entire family, so please see founder Jamina Ballard and her staff for more information. Walk of Faith is collecting loose change as it prepares for its annual walk on the Ocean Springs Bridge. This walk is hosted during Easter weekend. All the loose change that we collect will benefit a community charity, and you can find the containers in the foyer. Health is very important to our lives, and not just physically, but spiritually. So here's Pastor Jay with his weekly health tip. Hello, I am Pastor Jay, and this is your Healthful Health Tip. Did you know there are over 100,000 diseases in the world, but only three cause 60% of the deaths in the United States? They are cancer, stroke, and heart disease. Now, what causes these things? There are four main factors, physical inactivity, poor nutrition, tobacco use, and alcohol use. If you change one or improve, Upon all four of those things, you are guaranteed to add a decade or more to your life. I am Pastor Jay, and this has been your Healthful Health Tip. It's February, and that means we are celebrating Lady Maryland all month long. Happy birthday, Lady Maryland. You can give a monetary seed into her life, come out and volunteer for the children's ministry, or lend a helping hand and come out on Saturdays to help keep this place clean. First Lady, we love you. Sadly, Music and Tech Camp will be canceled this month due to the grads going on a Black History trip to Montgomery. So I'll see you guys next month. Resurrection Sunday is two months away, and we are preparing now to plant our resurrection season to the ministry. For those of you who don't know, resurrection means Easter. This seed can resurrect things in your life that are perceived to be dead. Your credit scores, your finances, your health, your love life, your family, even your mind. Lazarus became a stinking mess, but it wasn't enough for Jesus not to call him forth. Prepare your seed knowing and believing that what you ask for will be called for from the dead. Don't be afraid to volunteer. A lot of people think that you won't be trained. I promise you, we will train you properly before implementing you into service. Volunteering is also a great way to get to know the other people in the ministry and to keep our church at its best. Do you find yourself tired and in need of a quick pick-me-up? Well, I've got something for you, and it's not that five-hour energy drink. Open your ears to receive Pastor McCarter's weekly energy tips coming to you right now. During my meditation time this week, I was reading from the book of Acts, the third chapter, about that man at the gate called Beautiful. Peter and John were about to walk into the temple, and there was a man that they had been bringing to the gate called Beautiful. He was paralyzed from the day he was born. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Carlton, get excited. And I was like, get excited? He said, yeah, get excited. I'm going to excite you. And then I looked up words that were synonymous to excited. God said that means to stir up one mentally, to activate, to energize, touch off a response. And that's when it hit me. This man wanted silver and gold, but Peter and John reached down, grabbed the man by the hand, pulled him up, and when he was paralyzed, he got strength in his legs and his feet and began to walk and leap and praise God. The man got excited. They got excited, and then everybody in the entire temple, when they saw this man had been paralyzed all his life, they got excited. So I'm saying to you, whatever's been paralyzed in your life since you've come out of your mother's womb, God said, get excited, because he's going to excite me, he's going to excite you, and I want you to get excited about what God is going to do in your life. Get excited.